Uh, yes, uh, an overview uh, about the world according to Jeff Goldblum. What this series is about. There are 12 of them. They're half hours. They're going to be on Disney+. Plus. Well, we cover different, each episode uh, covers a different topic, a different thing, like a familiar, a familiar item like sneakers or bicycles or denim or ice cream or barbecues or pools or ga -ga 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 -ga, tattoos or something else. But within this half hour, I find different angles on who to talk to about it, not what you'd expect. And then I have interesting, spontaneous, sometimes fun, and <laughs> conversations with people that yield some surprising science and, and uh, things that we may not know about. These ordinary things that, that uh, in light of uh, these uh, conversations, become possibly extraordinary. And uh, there's science that we learn, like I say, and stuff that I learned. I don't pretend to know anything that I don't, but I take you through it. and welcome you, and we go on this little journey together, all over America. I wouldn't have been to some of these places if not for this show, so I'm the luckiest boy on the face of the earth. Here's how the show came together. I was, I don't know what the date is now, I gotta check back on my calendar, but at some point a couple of years ago, I'll bet you could find out, I did three guest hosting, experimental hosting spots on Nat Geo Explorer. So I met those wonderful producers in that wonderful studio, and then by and by, after a time, they came back and said, you know, we had such a good time with you, why don't we do a show of some kind? And we started to talk. We didn't know at first what exactly it would be, but it kind of organically, through these very smart people and very lovely people, we talked about it and we had a notion and then even once we started to shoot it kind of oh this is it this is what we want to do you know and uh, that's that's how it happened you know so, well the different topics what's involved is now nah, I ate some ice cream I'll tell you uh, as I told I think Ben and Jerry whom I meet on the show if you can believe it uh, I, I've sort of because of my regime and my health <laughs> discipline, I've sort of avoided over the last few decades most of their flavors. I knew about them, I know, you know, and I go, don't stop, don't stop, all that, you know. So, so I, yeah, during the course of this show, that episode, I ate some more ice cream. I was with them, who could turn down, and I love it. I mean, it's, you know, not, ha not having it, not being, you know, allowing myself to have it every day. It's a religious ecstasy for me when I take even a bite, bite of it. So I, so I had some. And then what was really exciting was we took an eye-opening and enhancing for me and moving uh, and inspiring. We took this flavor of ice cream that I had made uh, with the salt and straw guy after we foraged in his personal forest there near his place. And we cooked it up together. I took a batch of that to the USS... America, this big aircraft carrier with the brave men and women who serve on that, I didn't know that one of the things that uh, they do in the services like that is have regular ice cream socials in order to relax, bond themselves together, and the particular power of ice cream, they say, uh, uh, has a nostalgic power that allows them to get through challenging, lonesome times. Uh, with a, a help, with some help like that. Um, so anyway, I heard their stories, and they, they, I fed them some ice cream, and it took them back to a time when, when they were young and first had ice cream, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, there are things like that. We started to talk about what subjects and what things I might be interested in or have a, you know, you know, an attraction to or a disinclination about that, but, but that I'm interested, fascinated, want to learn more about, that kind of thing, and topics that may be of ordinary, you know, familiarity to a lot of people, and then things that we could shed interesting, surprising uh, light upon.
Well, I, I had a hand in it. They gave me a little vote in some of these, and and uh, and now I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we do more. I had such a blast on this. I am so proud, and this is no baloney. I'm so proud to be part of Disney Plus. They're in my experience in this last you know run up and all our. Uh, collaborations so far they've been so smart and talented and wonderful and kind and and just a great uh, company